Hi everybody and welcome back to another episode of Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. Uh, last time, uh, last time we helped uh, Yugo and Nokia. Basically, you know, it was with her. It's basically all about Nokia's stuff. Um, Yugo kind of wanted to stop her, but then we found out we probably can't stop her because she's generally doing it for nice purposes. So now we are going to the K Cafe because someone is in here. I assume Blue Box, um, having a bad time. So we're gonna go, you know, be goods with them. Be good, be friendly. Who is it? Oh no, it's... Oh, this dude. Ryoko? Ryota, that's it. Yeah! Hmm. Hmm, what to do, what to do. Ah! Oh, Kiwi! How long have you been there? A couple of seconds. Looks like your many years of experience as a, as a detective have made you a master of sleuth. I don't know about many years, but... Many days, weeks maybe. Even a month? No, that can't be right. Hmm. What am I worrying about? Damn it. How could you tell? You're too good at at, a, at the detective stuff. Ugh. Well, maybe it's better to ask you about this anyway. Doesn't seem like I'm going to solve this one on my own. Oh, so maybe I guess I have to go down to the... He's probably put a case in. How do they do that? Put a case in. And I have to go back. And I'll probably just end up having to go back to talk to him anyway. Oh my god. Alright. What is the case? Yep. I'm busy. My notice board's starting to get a bit filled up too. Ah, oh, good. This is an easy one. Oh, what should I do? What can I do? Is there someone I can give, give something I can give to win over a girl's heart? Oh, it's the, the dude he likes. The girl he likes, I mean. Oh, great. We're starting it. Your girlfriend will be getting out of hospital soon. And you want to give her a present? Ah, uh, Kyoko, keep your voice down a bit. Sakura. She's not my girlfriend yet. Huh? Not yet? What on earth does that mean? Er, um, I, uh, well... Look, if you want to give her a present, just give her whatever you want. I'd like to get something a girl would like. Could you help me choose something? You are a girl, kind of. But, you know, you'll have to pay for this if you, it's an official case, right? That's okay, I just want her to have the best possible present. Well, I mean, she's not getting out of the hospital, that's all. She's just getting out of the hospital, that's all. Don't you think you're talking, taking this a bit too far? Jeez, give it a rest already. I know you're a detective and all, but stop constantly analyzing every little thing for once. <laughs> it's a personal rule of mine not to take on a case unless I completely understand it. But okay, I suppose I can make an exception. Just for now. Just for now? That sounds scary. Yeah, she's a scary lady, man. She killed Blue Box. She's a murderer. I need money in order to buy the present, so I'll get a part-time job. I heard about some good hunting spots outside of Eden. Haunted spots, sorry. But I'll still need your help. Okay. Hmm. He's still working in ghost photography? <laughs> Apparently. Well, I guess that's fine. So we're looking for something a girl would like. Sorry, but I stopped thinking like a girl a long time ago. And you're too wor worldly, so that leaves us with a bit of a problem. In this situation, I'd say you should ask your feminine friends. Hmm. Your feminine friends? What about... Maybe Yuko? Well, she's not really the type. She's naive and probably wouldn't care about what kind of prison it was, I'd say. Not harder. Not here, then? Perfect! She's probably not really the kind of person, but at least she will try her best. Or at least that's how she seems to me. Hmm. I think she's in Shijuku right now. Go and ask her for an op opinion on girls' prisons. I think she'd be in, like, Kowloon or some shit. Alright, Nokia. Looks like we're going to Shinjuku. Don't see me get an easy mission for a change. I mean, the last two haven't been hard, but they've been like, you know, four star difficulty. Ooh, fight really strong Digimon. This one's buy some girls a present. Alright, where the fuck is she in Shijuku? That's the only thing I have to find. That's the hard thing about this mission. Find Nokia. I am in the right place, aren't I? Fuck, I hope so. I were not here. Where would I be? She must be up here, maybe. Ah, oh, yeah, I see her. Ah, oh, I see her. She's by the life plan. Okay. Hi, not here. Hmm? What's up? Is this some burning question you desperately need to ask me? I need to get a girl a present. Hmm. You're looking for a present for a girl? Do you have any more information than that? Hmm, a girl's prison. But Kiwi, 
Why are you asking me about this? Oh my god, you like someone, don't you? No, I don't. But you already have me. Wait. Is that what? No. But since you can't have me at all to yourself, you need to find someone else? That's probably it. Fine. I guess I'm just too intimidating for most guys, but if nobody ever gets close to me because they're afraid, not a good sign. But Kiwi and me, we aren't like that. I know. As rebels, we all share the same goals, the same ideas. We have a special relationship that can't overcome any obstacle. God damn it. So, what's the request again? Ah, it was about the prison for a girl. You came to the right place. I happen to be an expert on the matter. When it comes to prisons for girls, you can't go wrong with accessories. Accessories! <laughs> girls eat, sleep, and breathe accessories. They're a little pricey, but from... What about a necklace from Vivian's? Who the fuck's Vivian's? Let's decide it back at the office. Let's discuss it, sorry. Yeah, we're back at the office. A necklace? Not bad. Not bad at all. I think, I think anything over a thousand bucks would hurt a high school student's wallet a bit too much. Yeah, the price is one thing, but honestly, rather than getting her something so girly, I think I would be actually better to give her something romantic. A present that shows that I've put some thought into it. Hmm. A romantic present. I know, I said I wouldn't ask too many questions, but I have one for you now. Huh? What are you talking about? You know, she's just getting out of the hospital. Why are you so concerned with getting her such an amazing present? This... This is a chance for me. For me to tell Sakura. To tell her how I feel. Apparently that was me saying that. <laughs> tell her how you feel? Hmm. And yeah, what exactly would that be? Well, I mean, you know, that I love... That, that I love her. Oh. Love? Love? You like the Sakura girl? Well, of course I do. Well, that's what I want to tell her how I feel. I see. But why do you like her? Well, I don't really know. I guess I just can't leave her. I, I want to be with her. I'm the only one who can protect Sakura. Oh, I'm Ryota. I'm the one who can protect you, Sakura. I'm the only one who can protect you, Sakura. I'm the only one who can protect you, Sakura. Wait, hey, stop that. Stop saying that. Stop it. Enough already. That's it. Now do what I hired you to do. Oh, damn. Damn, son. Burn. Ha <laughs> ha. He really is such a self-conscious teenage boy. But he's an honest kid. We should definitely keep hiding from him. Helping him. Well then. Hmm. A romantic prison. I think you need to go looking for a romantic friend of yours and ask their opinion about this. What do you think? Oh, damn it. So... Romantic friend. Arda. Exactly. <laughs> he's not very really romantic. Exactly. You wouldn't think so, but I'd say he's quite the romantic. I think he's in Akibara. Go and ask him about a romantic prison. God damn it, I'm just basically running around. How is Blue Box romantic? How? I don't I don't I don't get how he is the romantic type. I've never seen him do much romantic gestures. Apart from, you know, that love-hate thing with, um, Nokia. Uh, Akibora, bitches. There's a girl. Who's this person? Hmm? Something you needed from me? Romantic present? I see, romantic present. Oh, yes! Want an invitation to an all-you-can-eat cake buffet or a nice hotel? Being able to eat your fill of sweets is every woman's dream. I kind of want to talk to Blue Box, though, not you. Is this really... Okay. Let's go find him. Shop, which I don't want. I assume he's over here, but he's probably back the other way. Oh, there he is. Hi, Blue Box. Oh, you've got a question for me? Then what are you being so formal for? I'm on a case, bitch. Huh? Looking for a romantic prison for a girl? Yeah, man. Romantic? That's kind of old fashioned, don't you think? Anyway, why are you specifically asking me this? So I ran out of friends. I only got like three. Huh. I'm a romantic? What are you talking about? I oh, know. I oh, know. It's a long shot, man. What? You hear at Kyoko's behest? I can't think why she would say such a thing. Hmm. Romantic, you say. That's it. Hmm? How about something like poison in a deck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. What's with that face? It would be such a romantic present. You know, like Romeo and Juliet. You've heard of them, right? 
I know about them, yeah. It's one of Shakespeare's tragedies. It's about the forbidden love of Romeo and Juliet. Romeo thinks that Juliet has died, so he drinks poison and kills himself. But Juliet is actually alive, and when he, she sees that Romeo is dead, she takes a dagger and sticks it in her own heart. So what do you think? Romantic, right? No. Well, I don't know. There's just something touching about such a profound and dramatic gesture. Hmm. It's a romantic prison, and that's that. No, it's not really. <laughs> it's a joke. Just a joke. You bastard. You're the one who labeled me a weirdo. I was just getting back at you. Hmm. A romantic present. How about a ticket to a theme park? Have you heard of the memories are better than possessions? Yeah. Ride the ride, see the parades, kiss underneath the starry sky. Girls like that kind of stuff, right? I'll discuss it back at the office. Wow. Going to a theme park, kissing under a starry sky? Just as I thought. He's quite the romantic. What do you think? Should they enjoy a date at a theme park? Hmm, ah, a date. A date. I feel like going on a date should be the next step. First, I'd like to get her a prison that really grabs her. Hmm, you sure do have a lot of conditions. Yeah. Actually, I've been thinking I'd rather have the prison wasn't too unusual. Something simple but elegant. Hmm, actually, you have a good point there. But simple but elegant is a bit ambiguous. Okay, then I'll give you... I've got to to go to my job. Please go on. I'll speak with you later. Right, see you again, later, man. It's the third time he's done that. I guess I should be used to it by now, but I don't get why he keeps leaving us to do all the work. Let me guess. I get to talk to my other friend. Is that the deal? So, something simple but elegant. She's not simple, but there's one of your friends of yours who I think... who I, who I can think of who when... who could give you that kind of... Oh, Jesus Christ. Just move on. Yeah, so Yoko. Yeah, it's like she's at Kimishiro right now. Please go and ask her about something. Something simple but elegant. She should be able to tell you something useful anyway. But the word simple was good. Oh, Digilines. Digilines. Digital phone calls. Mariel told me to talk more and get to know you. I'll be seeing you. Oh, please don't. Please, please don't talk to me, bro, your mom. Tell you, did you evolve at least and get better moves? Because... Quite frankly, you're one of the worst. Ooh, ooh, just quiet me, Bergamot. Right, so Kemashiro, which is... Is in here? Okay, Metropolitan Office. Or is Kemashiro the online one? I feel like Kemashiro is actually the online one. Maybe I have to go to Eden. Is there a, a, a point in here? It's not in here. Is there a warp thing there? Fuck, there isn't. For some reason, I thought Kamashiro was like um, an actual physical place. I mean, it, it should be. But. Uh, I don't know. It must just be the Eden version. The digital version of Kamashiro is what she was talking about. Again, specific details. I need specific details, people. This shit hurts my brain. Where is it? Kamashiro. There she is. Hey, Yoko. Well, our relationship may fall within the bounds of friendship. You touch me so bizarrely as... Oh! You've got something to ask me? What? Simple is good. Huh? You're looking for something simple and delicious, or... Oh, sorry. Simple and elegant. My... She does like her food. But I like a girl I can eat. <laughs> uh, what do you mean exactly? Please explain it in a bit more detail. Of course you're looking for something a girl would like. I get it now. But I don't think that's the best plan. For starters, it's a present for something that's been picked up, been picked out by someone who doesn't know them. Yeah. The gift giver needs to think about what the recipient might like. What might make the, her happy, think seriously, consider it, ponder it, mull over it, and then choose the best possible prison. That's what giving a prison is all about. It's not what you get, it's the time and energy spent thinking about what might make the other person happy. That's the prison's true value. Please take this client, please tell this client who can't decide on a prison to think as carefully as he can about the person he wants to give the gift to. Okay, that's actually good advice. Huh? Me? What would make me happy? 
Hmm. That's a good question. Onigiri. What's that? That's what I'd want. Onigiri. Made with love. A nice... I assume it's food. What? Onigiri's no good? I guess it's food. Alright, we're back here for the third time. She said that the time spent thinking about the best possible present was the true gift. Hmm. She has a point there. Woohoo! Wow, of course, sorry. That's it. That's exactly what I should do. I'll think about it, seriously, and on my own. I think about what would make Sakura happiest. Okay, thanks, Kiwi and Kyoko. Woohoo! What happened? <laughs> Doesn't he really need to go off running and shouting like that? Where the hell is he going anyway? I don't know. Let him be. Youth is wasted on the young. Get over it, you old spinster. Cool. Alright, hand that shit in. Done. Get out of town. Money. I'm curious to see how this budding romance turns out in the end. I wish him the best of luck out there in courting her. Mm -hmm. What's happening now? Oh shit, it's the Saxons and the Demons. Chapter 10. To the promised land. Yay, chapter 10. What's going on, Hugo?君たちは自由か。何者にも侵されず。何者にも干渉されず。何者にも監視されない。エデンの全身が我々ハッカーの発祥の地でもある。聖地アンダーゼロ。そこはこの電脳世界の創造主が理想とした空間であり、今よりも
What do we got? Guess what? Sakura's out of the hospital. She came to school today. Cool. Make a score after my break, Bruce. You saved me. Thank you. Cool. What was the other one? I don't know. I don't know. Don't really care. Alright, to Eden. Eden. Alright. Uh, Eden free area? Yeah, that's the new place we opened up. Okay. Oh, fuck, that's not formidable looking. Hi, Nokia. Yeah, I came straight here, apart from answering my phone. Called the Golden Maniac. Why am I called the Golden Maniac for? Wait, do I have to fight them? Apparently I do. Oh, fuck, see, he's got ultimate Digimon. Jesus Christ. Okay, so even the random Saxon... Ah, uh, sorry, not Saxon. The bloody rebel people have got fucking ultimate Digimon. Yeah, I gotta do some training, I think. Oh, wow. Oh, that's good. Flowing fish, it should take them down, maybe. Damn it. So close. Ow. Just attack him, actually. Just attack him. Got it. Damn it, yeah, man, even the bloody. The real tamers have still got friggin' better Digimon than me. <laughs> Great. Alright, who's next? What Digimon's this dude got? I'm red here, thank you very much. No, you didn't. バトルの腕を上げるための特訓に付き合ってほしかったんだ。強くなって悪いハッカーたちに立ち向かうためにね。それだけじゃないわ。この特訓の狙いはただ単純に強くなるためだけじゃない。デジモンとの絆を深め、
sure, man. <laughs> Whatever, dudes. Hi, Hugo. それが君の理想か。そして、この発火たちが。なな、何しに来たの?ザクソンのリーダー自らリベリオンズを潰しに来たってわけ?君たちが僕らザクソンを脅かす存在なら、それも選択肢。ダイン。ブーン。ブーン
結局朝まで付き合ってたってわけかあいつに付き合ってたら時間がいくらあっても足りねえ振り回されて痛い目見るなんて俺なら5年だねそのことでずいぶん騒がしくしてるみてえだなハッカーの連中はあなた知ってたのなんだかずいぶん興味なさそうだけどあんたあっだバカバカしいあんなのは古臭いサーバーの中にある古臭いエリアってだけだぜけど聖地を取り戻すだとかなんとか言ってみんな目の色変えてるじゃん現に私たちリベリオンズの中にも特訓の成果を見せるとか言って参加しようとしている人もいるし<笑>リーダーがリーダーだからな単細胞な連中が集まってるんだろうドキッねえ私たちもアンダーゼロに挑んでみない Do I have a choice in this? からだめしっていうかそこに山があるから登るっていうか壁があるからぶっ壊すみたいなさそれにほらせっかくテーマ集団を結成したけど私たちの知名度はまだまだでしょザクソンが目標にしてるアンダーゼロを私たちが突破したらリベリオンズの知名度もうなぎ登りそしたら私たちの主張もやめとけ<笑>あそこはオタクラみたいな素人が到達できるような場所じゃねえ帰り討ちに会うのがオチだしし,し素人とは何よ私たちだってとっくに特訓を重ねてデラックス強くなったんだからねえ,え私一人で行くもん絶対ザクソンより先に攻略してやるんだから放っておけよ勝手に突っ走って痛い目見りゃいいんだ<笑>うんうんうんもうちくしょう仕方ねえ追いかけるぞアンダーゼロはヤバすぎる場所なんだまたあの時みたいになったらとにかくノキアを追うんだ俺はちょっくら仕込みをしてから行くエデンで落ち合おうぜあ、cool。Like、we're next off the end. Hold on, I got seven fucking messages. Jesus Christ. I want to eat something good. Oh, hey. How about you bring something next time? Sure. <laughs> you used to spice things up and yeah. This is the old stuff. What the fuck was. What's this shit? When is Rare Sharp there again? I appreciate him worrying about me. It's finally time to show some hackers. Okay. Hey, you went to KKV and didn't bring some mayo? Don't you forget next time. The fuck is that shit? Okay. Weird. Cool, man, cool. Alright, so next time we'll go see. Blue box in uh, Eden. Uh, but you know what? He says he's got to do some prep work before we go take on the under zero, whatever it's called. And you know what? I think I need to do some prep work too. And by that, I mean training. Because I feel like we're starting to fall a little bit behind the curve. Um, so next time, we might have a few new powers, or at least some powers ready to get some improvements. Um, thank you so much for watching. As always, this has been Flapping Kiwi with another episode of Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. As always, have a good one, and we'll see you next time.